What's up, Young Hollywood? Brooke Rudiso here, hanging out at Comic-Con, and we're about to find some really strange things out from the Stranger Things cast. Stay tuned. Who's most likely to actually go in and save Barb? Actually go in and save Barb, David Harbour. He could rip someone's head off. I'd like to think it's Nancy. I'd like to think it's Nancy. What is the strangest fan theory you've heard so far? My favorite fan theory of all time is that we dropped a, um, a Super Bowl trailer in January, uh, January, early February, whenever the Super Bowl was, and we said that the show was coming out in, on Halloween, in October, right? And my favorite fan theory was this guy went on Twitter and was like, this is the biggest lie of the season. There's some character in another show that supposedly Joe, or Joe's the father of that character. The father? The father, you know, it's set in modern day and they look so much alike. I think they actually did something together. The season is coming out in March because this number relates to this and October is the inverse month of this. And so the upside down, so the season will be coming out in March. I don't know, you know, I don't pay a whole lot of attention to the fan theories. And I was like, Dude, you've spent a lot of time on this numerology thing, and I wish you were right, but I can guarantee you that fan theory is incorrect. I don't know. I'm sort of, like you said, I'm so new to this kind of world, so I'm just starting to sort of figure it all out. But there's a lot of speculation about, you know, Barb coming back and what is, really? you know, Millie's character, Eleven, doing and all those sort of things. But without giving anything away, I think there'll be a lot of unexpected stuff. What would you say is the strangest quality of Nancy? Might be her dance moves. Um, yeah, I, her closet. She's got some crazy. She's got some crazy looks. If you could describe in one word what's next for Steve, what would you describe? What would you say? I haven't gotten that question. Good question. Vengeance? Not ven. That sounds aggressive. But um, like you know, justice. Justice. You know, like yes. what, what, I don't even know what the word is. I'm looking for. Change. I would say. Vengeance sounds aggressive, but maybe that's right. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's right. Who's most likely to survive the Upside Down? I don't know. There's some tough ones in the cast. I think there's like multiple people that would really, really tough it out. So I can't, I don't think I'd be able to separate that one. I would say, man, Noah would actually be pretty good. He's small, he's quick. He has experience. He has experience. Yeah, he's, been, yeah. he's been there. Okay, top three. Top three. Well, David Harbour. Okay. He's one big, you know what I was going to end it with. He's, uh, but I don't want to curse. So, David Harbour. Hey, how are you? I'd say, mate, Millie would tough it out. Millie would definitely tough it out. And I think Natalia, she actually does a lot of like intense classes, exercise classes. So I think she would do really well. Today, I shook Harrison Ford's hand. You shook the legend's hand. Yeah. You just yeah. completed all goals of life today? I, he is, uh, Definitely one of my favorite actors of all time. So I'm just gonna cut right to it. Do it. How was Eleven's reaction when she found your egos that you left? <laughs> uh, they were so cold and damp. She was wildly disappointed. She was like, couldn't you have microwaved these up and heated them up? If you're listening, Harrison Ford. I didn't say anything to you today, but you're the best guy ever. Damp waffles, don't leave them in the woods. Stupid idea. 